Hi birds, um, <laughs> I'm gonna do something that probably seems strange to me, but I really feel like God, God's been wrestling with me about this for days, because I, I've been reluctant, I didn't want to do it, because it seems crazy, and I'm like, God, is this really you? Why, why would you want me to sing American Pie by Don McLean? It's, it's not a worship song. I don't, I don't get it, but God's just sharing with me. He, he's asked people to do some crazy things. He, he asked Hosea to marry Gomer, a prostitute, and to go back to her again and again to show Israel what she was doing to him. He asked Ezekiel to lay on his side paralyzed and cook his food over excrement and over dung. So I don't know, but um, I hope there's a method to the madness. If not, please pardon my crazy. But uh, the, God gave me Revelation chapter 18, specifically verse 22, but I think we have to read up to it, to read this in context. It's talking about Babylon. I've heard so many people talk about Babylon on YouTube. People say it's America, people say it's the Catholic Church, people say it's the Protestant Church. People say it's Islam, people say that it's Iraq, people say that it's the European Union. I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, spiritually that's it. But to me Babylon is, is a spirit. It is a spirit of the age. It is a spirit of worshipping man instead of worshipping God. And whatever else it might be, that will be made manifest in time, you know. God's given people out there a lot more revelation than me. People actually have the prophetic gifts. I don't. But I will be obedient and I will do what he, he told me to do. Sing this song and read this passage, scripture. So Revelation chapter 18. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. And that was in that feeling that Jesus put in my heart to speak to you guys, that that's, I feel like that's what he's telling us, is come out of her, my people. For her sins have been piled up to heaven. Come out of her. Come out of her spiritually. Come out of her mentally. If you can, come out of her physically. But come out of her, you know? Don't run with her anymore in her whoredoms and her inequity and her excesses. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she says in her heart, I sit as queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. And that is the spirit of this age, you know? Um, this belief that things are only going to get better, this, this willful blindness to the wall that we're driving into, to the freight train that's coming right at us, you know, in this generation. Verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, famine. She shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong as the Lord who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour thy judgment is come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys her merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver, precious stones and pearls, fine linen, purple and silk, scarlet, and all fine wood and manner of vessels and ivory and vessels of precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. Cinnamon and odors, ointments, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, wheat, beast, sheep, horses, chariots, slaves, souls of men. Babylon's just got everything going on, doesn't she? She's selling everything, buying everything, everything you can imagine. All the glitter and all the gold and all the distractions to keep us from thinking about what's really happening when we're at the end of the age. 
when we're so close. Like that. And Jesus could come. The fruits of thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly departed from thee. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ship sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea, and by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Some of you have visions of tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanoes, nuclear war. You know, I don't, the only thing God gave me a vision of was a civil war, of brother against brother, of people in their own family turning against each other and betraying each other. But if you put all of the things together that God has given all of us all the things that we have had dreams and visions about. We know something's coming. And a lot of it sounds like this. It sounds like what's in God's Word in Revelation chapter 18. But specifically the verse God spoke to me about is verse 22. The voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in me. And no craftsman whatsoever craft he be, shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. No more harpers, no more musicians, no more pipers, no more trumpeters. <laughs> Worship, but I think God wanted me to do it, so here it goes.
kind of because I don't know the words of this song. Jesus told me to learn it, and I've memorized it, and I didn't think I was going to sing songs. I don't worship songs anyway. But turning the page, the other half of the song. <laughs> this is kind of like it's kind of like the really to me the really prophetic part. But I'm just being obedient tonight. You know, I kind of most of you ignore this, but for whatever reason, God wanted me to do it. I'm gonna be obedient. Thank you. 